If you've ever used a sin, I can't be a racist because I'm Asian. You might be a racist. No, but seriously, this is going to be the starting point for this whole video, so you might as well go ahead and get this understood. If you've ever used that prefix, that setup before, that little sentence structure, I can't be a racist, I can't be a sexist, because then you are. That's just like the infamous line of, I'm not being racist, but, or I'm not trying to be a racist, but, and then you turn around and say some racist shit. Sorry. That is the same line that you're using with, I can't be a racist because I can't be a sexist because. Hello everyone, JWR here, and now we're going to have some fun. I've already covered my basic stance on how SJWs and all these neo elitists and neo-racist motherfuckers and neo-sexist motherfuckers are pushing things. I've already addressed that with the quote-unquote joke at the beginning. <clears throat> yeah, joke, whatever. But now I'm going to give you the paradox. The paradox states the following two fallacies. Fallacy one, women cannot rape. This statement cannot be altered. This statement cannot be changed. This is the fallacy. Illogical fallacy number two. You must always believe, listen and believe, believe the victim or survivor of a sexual assault and or rape. And this usually comes at, the, believe the female. You must always listen and believe the female survivor. That cannot be changed either. These two logical fallacies are what will be held, okay? These two have to be held at 100%, no difference, no change. You have to believe the female victim, and women cannot rape. The paradox. What if a woman rapes a woman? And down the bottom in the description, I will have two stories. The reason why this is a paradox is because there is no successful way to do this without destroying one or both fallacies. You have to sacrifice a fallacy to engage uh, to deal with this. Even if you don't deal with it, you have engaged in one of these fallacies by default. Let me tell you what I mean by this. If you engage in trying to solve this paradox, like I said, both fallacies cannot be altered. If you try to engage this fallacy, if you try to engage this paradox, you have officially omitted the first fallacy. You have to accept the fact that women can rape. You have to accept it because you're engaging this fallacy to try to prove it. Oh, sorry, you're trying to engage this paradox to prove it, to break it. You can't do that. You just can't. The paradox holds. You lose a fallacy in order to engage this paradox. If you choose not to engage this paradox, you know, you hear it and you go, whatever. If you choose not to go engage it, you have officially dismissed the second fallacy. Because clearly you do not believe the female victims. You do not believe the female survivors. You don't. Next, I'm just going to put two stories down here at the, the, in the description to show that this is a paradox. Now, most of the time, third-wave feminism and a lot of people just avoid it. If they ever talk about women raping people, it's always ra raping men. No one's thinking, like, outside the box. They're not thinking <laughs> outside the box. And it's about... <laughs> uh, that's actually a sexist joke when I think about it. But see, I can accept when I do something like that. I call it. I call it where it is. I call it as I see it. What you see is what you get. Ain't nobody gonna hold me down. You know, it's going down. Oh no, I gotta... What the fuck? No! The point is, once you engage this paradox, you destroy your first fallacy. If you avoid this paradox, you destroy the second fallacy. So the paradox itself is how do you answer this paradox and keep both fallacies? The answer is, you cannot. 
Now, some of you are going to sit there and be like, oh, I can do this easy. Because you see, women cannot rape. So this is not actually a rape charge. It's a lesser charge. No, no, no. That's what makes this a paradox. I didn't say women can't assault women. I didn't say that. I didn't say women can't sexually assault women. I said women rape women. It can't happen. That's what I'm pointing out. Or in my precise words, what happens when a woman rapes a woman? That's the paradox. I didn't say sexually assault. I didn't say, oh no, she beat her up. No, 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 no. The paradox holds. And you can't change either fallacy to suit your needs. But I will leave this up here. So you, in case you can figure out something that maybe I haven't seen, please, by all means, put in the description. I would love to see the actual answer. And like I said, if you change either fallacy or if you change the paradox itself, I will have to tell you by default you are wrong and where you went wrong. Okay? So remember, this is the challenge. You have the two fallacies. Fallacy one, women cannot rape. There can be no change in this statement. Fallacy two, you must always listen and believe this is the female victim slash survivor of a sexual assault and or rape. And I'm, I'm even giving you all the and or part because you, I'm going, I know what's going to happen. Someone's going to go, well, I can answer this because women don't rape because she's only a survivor of a sexual assault. And I know that's what y'all going to go for. I already know that's the best shot y'all have. And I'm going to wait for y'all to do that. Because, again, that's wrong. It's, just, it's still a sexual assault. The sexual assault part I threw in there just to mess with you guys because of one simple thing. You ready? Look back at the paradox and what the paradox says. Then you can go back to the fallacy and go, oh. So, yeah, y'all go ahead and have fun with that. Because I like paradoxes. I don't even think Batman could get this one. So, um, yeah, good luck. I'm J. Lo Laura and I'm out. <laughs> uh, have fun. Have fun with that. Go ahead.